Good morning, Gray. Hi. Do you need some attention? You do? Don pulled Ruby out for me. I'm actually running a bit behind. First off, I overslept this morning. I, I, we haven't been getting up early and I had plenty of time, but I got up later than normal. <laughs> and then, uh, good morning, Ruby. And then uh, Michelle messaged me that she was leaving her house early, so I had to kick it into high gear, baby. High gear for shopping. We didn't get any of the rain they said we were gonna get the last two days. Um, I watered the plants over there. I did water them, but not like we're not going to have rain water. I watered them like a, it's going to rain later in the day or tomorrow morning water. So if we're not going to get rain today, which is only a 40% chance, I'm going to need to water. I have some exciting news this morning. It looks like Tesla is opening up their new sales and service center. Uh, up on Glenwood Avenue starting Monday. Um, I talked to several Tesla friends and they have service scheduled for next week and they've been told to go to the new location. So that's pretty exciting. And along with that, um, one of the local Tesla owners um, drove by yesterday and posted some pictures up on Facebook and they have the Tesla neon lettering across the front of the building and it's all lit up now and it looks really fabulous. So that is super cool. Um, Ruby's kit to convert her to MCU 2 and Hardware 3 is still um, on order. It's still not in yet, but one can assume that when we go to get that service done, that it will be done in the new location. So super exciting. would be more exciting if it wasn't COVID time and if we could uh, didn't have to practice social distancing and we could have a grand opening where we could all stand around and chat without a mask on. That's what we'd like to do um, but we're not going to get to do that so but still very exciting that it's opening up and maybe somewhere down the line when it's more safe we'll get to do something like that. Wow, Michelle sent me a message and she said someone is in my spot at an angry face. She didn't say what kind of car or who or whatever, but what do you mean somebody's in my spot? Nobody ever parks there but me. Say what? Better be another Tesla using the good spot. What in the world? It is not a Tesla. Hey girly! Yes, here's to some great and awesome bargains today. I hope so. Yeah, Don told me to have uh, Girls Gone Wild at Guardian Angel. Ooh. And I was like, really? You want me to find jewelry today? But I didn't say that to him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, you would never be able yeah. to leave the house. <laughs> right, I mean, come on. You know, you know, Michelle and I, as far as our criteria for a great day at Guardian Angel, includes some jewelry. So, good morning. Hello, hello. <laughs> Michelle came in and she starts looking at these. <laughs> they are so adorable. They're different. Okay, we can go straight to jewelry. Thank you. Oh, look at that owl. It is cute. Michelle, I'm um, pouty. Aww. I don't even have a $2 piece of jewelry today. Well, that means we're going to have to go somewhere else. I'm pouty. <laughs> Aww. Well, Dawn is definitely the sprinkles on my ice cream. Dreams come true. Love will save the day. Trust in yourself and cherish every moment. In these difficult times, it is important to stay positive. Don't forget where you came from, but never lose sight of where you are going. Well, I got some new piano music, and some of these are spiral bound, which is really nice. 50 cent, a dollar. I tell you, though, it's hard to get down there and go through that stuff. I'm still looking out for outside cushions, but I don't see any today. That's tempting, but eh. Hey girl, did you find anything else? Oh, a Tupperware. Oh, goodness. Oh, and a bookshelf for Funko Pops. 
Oh, okay. So it's a piece of furniture kind of a day, huh? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he needs it. I found some jeans, capris and jeans. Okay. So hopefully, I got four, two capris, two jeans. Hopefully some of them will fit. I told Don I'd rather for $3 take it home, wash it, and try it than to go someplace and spend 30 or $40 yeah. on a new pair of jeans and then not like them anyway. Mm -hmm. it, 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 the amount of money spent does not increase the chances I'll actually like them. Exactly. That is so pretty. What brand is it? Is it anything we know? Oh yeah, um, Heart and Soul. Okay, I like it. Tell Shawnee needs to take you out to dinner. <laughs> yeah. The toy section just has not been awesome lately. And I don't see any Legos here or next door, so that's a bummer. Well, they are adding to the Longa Burger that they have in this case here for sure. And uh, if they didn't sell this patriotic pie plate for 4th of July, I suspect it's going to be there for a while. I'm still looking for a chair for Johnny, and especially since it looks like he's going to be actually home doing schoolwork. So this tray was, I think, 50 cents for Legos. And I got this great towel for a dollar. Looks brand new. I did also pick up a dress. Well, I sure did enjoy meeting you. I hope it'll work out for next week, too. Oh, I'm sure it will. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I'm going out of town. Are you off with your other girls again? No, my family. Um, Sean wants to take us to Ash, uh, Asheville. Okay, you're gonna you're gonna take the kids to Biltmore? Yeah, uh, we're thinking about it. We don't know if we're gonna appreciate it though. Right. So, here, let me just open up. Jeff loaded up Michelle's bookshelf and my chair. Thank you, Jeff. <laughs> so I'm really not gonna see you next week. When are you headed to Asheville? Oh, uh, Wednesday. Okay. Yeah, it's Wednesday to Wednesday. All right, well, have fun. I'll miss you. Thank you. So maybe there's hope for Thursday the following week if they don't wear you out too bad. Oh, no. It's Make sure to take the kids tubing. Some, uh, it's cool. That's what Sean wants to do. Definitely have to. If you're going to spend the week in the mountains, you have to, in the summer, you have to go tubing. It'll be nicer up there than it was on the lake down uh, here, the I'm river down here. <laughs> go tubing. Think kind thoughts for me. Well, the environmental park's pretty busy today. I uh, got my Pokemon taken care of. It's just two o'clock and uh, I'm headed back to the house to see if Don wants to work on the shed today or not. Right now I don't see rain, but who knows? That gonna work for you, you think? Yeah, I think it'll work. Yeah, it looks like it's the right height. Mm -hmm. for the desk and um it's got back yeah but i like the fact that it had the higher back on it i thought that would be more comfortable than one of those lower chairs so mr don's gonna come test it out too yeah this works it's the chair does it work yeah it's got a nice okay. little cushion in the bottom this is one of those like you know uh, banquet table you know meeting room uh, uh at a at a conference and stuff and you know yeah it's it's a, it's a really sturdy chair. I mean, it's, it's right. It's uh, not going anywhere. Not going anywhere. Yeah. It's not real heavy, so we can move it easily. Yeah, and it slides under the table, and it's not too big for yeah. there. So, cool. And we have our first corner piece up. Yay! It's darker green on the outside, but it's hard to show you over here in the shade. Don's been having an easier time getting the plastic off of the green than we did on the doors. Much easier, thank goodness. We're just trying to understand how it goes together. We're not putting in all of the screws right now. This is the door trim piece here and Don's going to get one of the doors so we can watch how it moves in the track down there and fully understand it. Right. doors are going to go something like this right when they're closed yeah there's a little thing they hang from a right track at the top so. i don't see them being able to close any further than that 
Right. The handle is now hitting the trim. Right. So I would say that's it. They can only go as far as the handle will let them go. That's right. Maybe you can smash the handle, but let's just say that's as comfortably open as they go. Well, and that's really only an inch and a half maybe away from the end back there. It's pretty far into the corner. Yeah, but it's the width down at the bottom. So we're only gaining an inch. By not words, putting the threshold on. Yeah, this was on this right here was 23 inches exactly. The gap between these two metal pieces is 23 inches exactly. So that's about an inch. So that's 24 and I'm assuming we're going to get on the other side. So 25. So the door is actually only 25 inches wide. Wow. That's not good. No. Well, I guess there's one thing we could try. Then let's do it. The, let's go the opposite way. Let's try closing it. So, so there, the, it's like the door goes like way far. So I guess what we could try. Or it can go way far. Yeah. It can go way far. Well, that's what I was saying. I had measured these, these door widths. And I said, even if they went all the way back into the corner, which I'm going to do here. I mean, that's all the way back where it's touching at the bottom. That is as far back as it could possibly go. And again, I don't. Maybe if you, maybe, maybe they're intending for you to pull, pop this out. But remember, it's not screwed at the bottom and it's right. not screwed at the top. It shouldn't be flexing that think, much. I don't think you're gonna flex it that much. Nope. So now, um, again, that's 23 inches. That's probably two and a half inches. So that's five inches. So that's 28 inches. So we're up to 28 inches now. Remember, we need 30. Or 31 would be better. So, um, yeah, this is not looking good. Well, we've gotten some more of the pieces on. And uh, it's sunny. We did have the one little rain shower come through, but it was really pretty light. Now it says in 15 minutes it's going to be moderate rain. I don't know. If there is, it won't be raining long again. These showers are coming from, from the northeast, which is an odd direction. That's because of that low. And they're pretty small, and they're moving quick, and they're popping up and dying off uh, all really quick. So, yeah. I think it'll be done in like 10 minutes. All these storms are fast moving today. We're ready to put this next corner on over here. It is what it is. Rain? What rain? I didn't even get the back edge of the thing. Wet. Right, I was noticing, well, that holly tree up above that thing, it really kept all the rain off of me while I was standing in that back corner. And I was noticing that my poor little plants over here, like this one in the corner, not it's that. not even wet. Now, this side got a little bit. So, I, yeah, that was like, wow. Out of the corner of my eye, I spotted this guy. Been a while since I seen a turtle. Now you know we got these box turtles all over the place here. Hey, buddy. Hi. Hi, I'm not going to hurt you. You probably should get off the driveway, though. This stuff is horrible. Yes. It comes off of some of the sheets really easy, and in other sheets it takes 15 minutes yes, yes. to pull it off. I do not recommend you buy uh, metal buildings. <laughs>
Don says he's had all the fun he can take for one day. Well, we have to put the back on now, and that dirt's in the way, and I have to use the 90 degree screwdriver. And it's 6.30. And it's 6.30 and it's muddy. Well that gives you a sort of a feel for what it's look, gonna look like on the side. And you might remember this roof slopes the same slope as the carport roof, only lower. And it should be underneath there. So if we're really lucky, all the water will go to the back. 